Today we're going to talk about how to find and choose a great website address. Now you might think that all the great website addresses are already taken, but I'm going to give you a tool that will help you find the perfect web address. Now what should the web address be? Now let's just pretend that we're starting a magazine called The Crafter and it's about doll making. So you have a couple options. You could call it thecrafter.com ideally, which is what I would ultimately recommend. Or you could call it something like dollmaking.com, which gives you an advantage because you're using the search keywords in the name of your web address. So if I go and search for doll making or doll making information, then because your magazine's website is named dollmaking.com, you have a better chance of showing up in search results. Okay, so now we're at a crossroads. What do we really do? Well, here's, here's a a tactic that you might want to employ. Get dollmaking.com and then also get thecrafter.com and forward thecrafter.com to dollmaking.com. So all your stories live on dollmaking.com but thecrafter.com also gets you there and you get two advantages. One is you get to have the name of the magazine as the domain name and you also get the Google search advantage of, of getting found in Google search for doll making. Now make sure it's easy to remember and another question I get a lot is should I have a .com or can I use a .net or a .org or a .co or some other these are called domain extensions and the simple answer is use a .com at all costs because that's what we're trained to remember. That's what's easy. You can tell people all day long that your web address lives on a .net but they're gonna forget and they're gonna try to find .com and .com has that panache that that this is the best web address you can you can have uh, brand so stick with the .com .org is for nonprofits it's not legally required that you be a nonprofit to have a .org but it's implied that you are not for profit okay now, what if your address is taken? Let's say dollmaking.com is taken. And by the way, it is taken. Well, you can use a hyphen in between doll and making. You can add mag on the end of dollmaking. So it would be dollmakingmag.com. You could add online to the end of dollmaking. So it would be dollmakingonline.com or dollmakinghq.com. You get the idea, right? Or maybe doll making 99 if there's a significant number in your in your uh, for your magazine, then use the number. And finally, here's the tool I talked about in the beginning. When you go to find a domain name, go to instantdomainsearch.com, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All you have to do is start typing in the box, and let's say I'm going to try to get doll making right as the first keyword, and look what happens. It tells you right away is the com taken is the net taken is the org taken red means it's taken so doll making doesn't work so what do we do now well we can experiment and while we type and let's call let's say doll making mag hey look at that doll making mag com is available and then you can play around a little bit and you can say well let's put a hyphen in between the doll and the making hmm well the com is taken but it looks like somebody's willing to sell it for 500 bucks so you could have doll-making.com for 500 bucks. Well, is it worth it? Maybe. You have the option, and all you have to do is click on the link to take you to the seller. And you can keep going. So ultimately, you might want something like um, an HQ or a, dot or a mag or an online, something that's easy to remember and says what it is. And where should you register your domain name? Well, I would stick with one of the big domain registrars, such as GoDaddy, Network Solutions, or Register.com. Don't fall for a get a free domain registration with an unknown provider. It's very difficult to deal with them down the road when you need to make changes to your website. So stick with the big ones.